Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to talk about charge measurement experiment. The experiment objective in this experiment, we will study how to determine the charge rate in an open channel using different open channel flow measuring structures. What is critical flow? It's a condition where the water flows at a depth equal to critical depth, y equal yc. This flow condition can be achieved by first creating a critical condition at a section in the channel by using a wheel or by producing a contraction in the cross section by using a Venturi flow. After finishing this experiment, you will be able to number one, set up a critical flow in an open channel using wheel or Venturi flow. Number two, compare the measured discharge with the actual discharge and calculate the error. And number three, Find a better value for the equation constant to better fit the data. Experiment components and tools. Number one, arm field laboratory flume with length equal to 10 meters. Its width equal to 30 centimeters. Its depth equal 45 centimeters. Number two, the bit slope wheel, which is used to adjust the channel slope. Number three, the bumping system, which consists of valve to control the discharge. And orifice meter to measure the pressure difference. Finally, a relation between pressure difference and discharge. Number four, the tailgate, which is used to control water level inside the flume. Number five, the point gauge, which is used to measure water depth at a specific location. And finally, the hydraulic structures, which will be used to measure the discharge inside the flume, eventually flume and the wave. Discharge measurement using wave. What is the effect of bed rise, also known as hum? From chapter 2, specific energy, we know that So for delta z equal to delta z maximum, the water depth over the wheel will equal to yc, or the critical depth. Also for delta z larger than delta z maximum, the water depth over the wheel will be the critical depth, yc. Now let's see the experiment number one. Discharge measurement using wave. Turn on the bump if it's not already on. Adjust the tailgate to an appropriate level. Adjust the channel slope to be 1 over 200 using the slope wheel. Open the valve to allow water to enter the flume. Read the pressure and get the pressure difference. Then, after knowing the pressure difference, get the actual discharge using this chart. Hydraulic jump downstream the wheel emphasized the critical flow condition. Now we are going to measure the head just upstream the wheel. Make a datum and measure the head upstream the wheel crest using a ruler. Measure the wheel width and then 
repeat for a different value of the charge. Charge measurement using a Minshui flow. What is the effect of bit contraction? From chapter 2 specific energy, we know that. So for what less than the minimum width the water depth just inside the Venturi flow will equal to critical depth and the head just upstream it will equal to H. Experiment number two is charge measurement using Venturi flow. Adjust the tailgate to an appropriate level. Adjust the channel slope to be 1 over 400 using the slope wheel. Open the valve to allow water to enter the flume. Read the pressure and get the pressure difference. Then, after knowing the pressure difference, Get the actual discharge using this chart. You can notice the water surface habit variation within the venturi flow. Hydraulic jump downstream the contraction emphasizes the critical flow. Now we are going to measure the water level upstream the venturi flow using the point gauge. After knowing the water level upstream the venturi flow, we are going to lower the point gauge to reach the flume bed and we will measure the bed level just upstream the venturi flume we are going to use this tool to measure the minimum width of the flume which is 10 cm and then repeat for a different value of this charge experiment results After finishing the experiments, you should be able to fill the table below and find the error in the charge measurement using the shown new equation. Also by using the shown Venturi equation. If you would like to adjust the equation constant alpha to better fit the data, for example, for the wheel equation, we will use the graphical regression method. Let's say that we have the following results and we want to reduce the error by finding a better value of alpha. First of all, we have to linearize the equation using the shown method. Then we will plot log h by 1.5 on x axis and log q actual over b on y axis. And then we have to get y intercept and alpha will equal to 10 power y intercept. So alpha will equal to 2.12. Using the real equation with alpha equal 2.12, you will notice that the error will be reduced. Thanks for watching and good luck.